five peaks the right of first uh, picking of which side they want to. All right, all right. So that's what so that's what they want. All right, okay. Let's do this. Camper betting on CS:GO. <laughs> if you are saying that I'm handsome, thank you. If you're trolling, still I thank you because you have given me some limelight in your life. And it looks like it's going to be Waz D in CT side. Five peaks will be picking themselves the terrorist side. They're going to position themselves right outside uh, mid here. And they might just go in for an aggressive push into bomb side A. It's going to be uh, actually Mark G with the CZ. I'm not really a fan of CZs on the, t on the CT side. But of course... Um, in eco rounds where you're saving against a fully bought CT side, it's going to be alright. Headshots all across the board there by making Amika onto Valencia as well as Sudokin. And they'll be able to get this uh, bomb side A relatively easy. And Fury, they're gonna be at least trying to go in for the duel of the pistol. Gets headshot by Mark G with the CZ and he follows up with another headshot there onto Stiz. So Mark G here proving me wrong that... The CZ is not an optimal buy on the pistol round. So now it's going to be at least I would say a respect a respect buy here coming in from five peaks. Three Galils and two SMGs. So at least they're making it so that Mr. Flirt or uh, Lance here will be able to buy himself a AWP when the time is necessary. Mow down by the members of Five Peaks. He puts his back, but no, it's going to be a Mark G just going to be defending his comrade. And it's gonna be Fury all left alone with the MAC-10. But of course, this MAC-10 will be something as GG was just jumping up and down in front of Fury there. And Fury gets shut down immediately. Huh. Alright. So... Magic. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but if you're asking what was the score of the previous match, first half it is 11-4 and the second half is 16-10. I'm sorry guys, Madman9520, I'm taken. <laughs> Alright, so we do see right now aggressive push there coming from Valencia. Two people here from the side of Boasi just... Just cross-firing on to Mick as well as Amica. They have, now they have made this a very expensive round for the side of 5P. You can see that Hadoken actually delivering the Galil into the hands of Fury. And he actually gets himself the AK as well, but he gets flashed out. And Amica as well as Mark G will be able to finalize the killer on to Hadoken. But we do see right now that Fury is defending from this side. Does he get spotted out though? Sees the one man, goes for the spray as he was actually setting up for a nade. Beautiful positioning there, coming in from Fury. He gets shut down though, but that was a very expensive round there for the side of Five Peaks. He gets caught out with the Galil, but ladies and gentlemen, I think that was a very worth it round there, coming in from Wasdi. Three frags for the side of Fury. I bet you are handsome as well, Camper. I bet you are. Um, the second map... It is cobblestone. It was picked by WASD. So we do see right now that, of course, it's five peaks with three rounds. It's only going to be Fury actually defending bombside A by himself. And that might just be the correct decision as Hadoken, as well as Valencia, are going to be covering this drop zone area, which is actually a pretty good situation wherein uh, we do see that. Hadoken is inside of it if he gets flashed out and he's the one man who gets you know focused on by five peaks it might allow Valencia for you know enough time to set himself up some spray uh, some mow downs but we do see that Amika here gonna be pushing himself to a long uh, with Mr. Flirt gonna be flirting <laughs> with his AWP Wow, <laughs> Camper, what are you talking about, man? Who won the first map? It was Five Peaks again 
won the first map pretty decisively. Now we do see the peak there coming in from Stiz. Double kill there as Amika and Mr. Flirt goes down. But Stiz is very heavily tagged there. But he doesn't care about that as he gets himself the tree. Okay, he looks for another one. Goes in for the spray. He gets it. It's now a 4k here for Stiz. It's a 1v1 situation. Can he go against Mark G? He has two frags right now. He's so low. One more grace of a bullet and it will kill him. He's going to be pushing in on two. The smoke here. I'm sorry for the bad uh, camera control, guys, but I'm just showing you their angles. But Mark G, as he throws out that Molotov, will actually burn alive Stiz. He was actually down to 4 HP. So if his teammates actually um, told Mark G here that Stiz was actually down to 4 HP, he would have been glad to actually just have one tick of that Molotov, just burn him alive, and that would have amounted him a, a much more certain you know, win in that 1v1 round. So, Sacks of Onin Oninikas, is that right? I've betted one euro on WASD. Please don't let me down. Well, one euro is pretty expensive already. But see, Mark G here has been doing some work. He gets caught out, gets tagged to about 8 HP, and is now going to try to go back and it save his weapon. Now we do see that the bomb has been planted here for the side of Five Peaks, but the members of WASD are here. They're at least trying to go and make this an expensive round. They're looking for the exit frags here. Stiz has that deagle in his hands. Fury gets caught out, as well as Jellophobia, as it was another mow down there, or a spray down by Mark G. This guy has been super uh, on point in his game. Goes for the shot, but will not connect as that will be an almost clean round there for the side of Five Peaks. Four members remaining, and they're stacking up the cash. 8,000 for Mark G as well as uh, JG there. Ah, clock works. Camper is innocent. Well, I'm also innocent. We're all innocent, guys. Nope. We assure you that there is no wall hacks in this game. That's how we roll, guys. This is the Mineski Pro Gaming League Season 8. And then now it's going to be a push into bomb site. A Five Peaks have made it again. A very cheeky, uh, aggressive push there onto 8. As it only is going to be really alive. He gets caught out while in the smoke headshot there. Coming in from Amika and Hadouken. Just finalized the kill there onto Mick. As Mr. Flirt actually did some team damage onto him. 3v2 situation. Amika is very low in HP. But it might, actually might be WASD going to come back from this backstab. Coming in from Amika. Gets shut down by Jellophobia. But is there enough time? Can he go for it? He goes in for the shot. But Mr. Flirt is just too quick on the trigger. He gets the headshot there onto Jellophobia. And that's going to be five peaks. Getting themselves six rounds through and through. Max lose uh, reward here for WASD. But their economy is just in shambles right now, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you think will win? Dignitas or Envy? Huh. Who again is the star player on Dignitas? They don't have Azir anymore, right? So I might go for Envious because, you know, Kenny yes, guys. But of course, I can't say I'm 100% sure that this is just, just that's just my opinion. Uh, Envious has, has been looking shaky, especially the, uh, you know, the removal of Kiyoshima. Now we do see here that Hadoken in a spot to B gets the kill there onto Amika as they are just at least making it more difficult or even more difficult here for the side of Five Peaks. One man gonna get caught out, that's Mick being mowed down there by Fury, or sorry, yeah, by Fury there. Does he spot out JG? He actually spots, I think, the feet of him, but he doesn't get the kill. Hadoken still onto the site. He's gonna be retreating onto Ninja, but will... Uh, five peaks pursued. No, they will not. Valencia gets there. The finalizing shots onto Mark G. 3v2 situation. It looks like WASD will finally get themselves one point in the first half. Okay. So, guys, if you're asking, I do put my faith in the Uplord or, you know, the 2014 MVP Uplord. But, of course, right now, I'm focusing into the match. 
we are now seven rounds in and Wazdi look to be aggressive as they can. Mr. Flirt goes down and it's going to be an easy take as Stiz was actually hiding in chicken coop and he'll be getting himself that AK. And it looks like Wazdi are now at least at least, you know, showing some signs of life going in onto this first half. Problem now though is that if five peaks do win this round, it might, you know, give them it will reset of course the economy of Wazdi. At the same time, it will at least possibly give them two or three more rounds, uh, you know, with Wazdi not having the perfect economy. There's an instant smoke there coming in from uh Stiz as he did see that the Molotov was being thrown there from the side of Five Peaks. He throws out the Molotov with his own so that Five Peaks can go into the long side of B Long there. But they're gonna just go in. Now we do see that Nick here might just get caught out, but Amica a bit too quick on the trigger. Will help his teammate not get shut down. That's gonna be Jellophobia running away with the AWP and Five Peaks here have reset the economy of WASD once again. Hey, Dolan the Duck, what is up? If you don't know who I am, I am Asurai from Ineski TV. Of course you know who I am, man. You've been to my uh, streams. So I welcome you to the shoutcast of the century. Just kidding. Huh, they knew where he was. And Flirt gets the headshot on Jellophobia, but Jellophobia actually tags him heavily, as I believe the op shot actually... Um, Got through the window and tagged Jello, um, Mr. Flirt there. Now it's going to be no weapons here for the side of Was D. They have to go for the quasi buy. Four P250s, one flash, one smoke, and Valencia buying himself the Deagle as well as that uh, Kevlar. Now it looks like five peaks here are gonna buy all AKs. As Hadoken actually catching off Mr. Flirt as he puts his back into Hadoken. He's gonna go in and take that backside pretty easily to P250. But while that was happening, two people from this uh, from drop zone just clearing out the members of WASD in bombsite B. Now it's going to be going uh, only going to be Fury as well as Jolophobia alive. And they're gonna try to go in for the retake. Jolophobia gets caught out. Now in a 4v5. Oh no, they're here where the sh he they hear where the shot's coming from. He actually has to go in through the window and he gets caught out with the Glock 18. No mercy whatsoever from the side of Five Peaks. Not going to even allow a possible, you know, two frags for the side of Was D. Hey, it's Brian, guys. Hey, Brian, what's up? Welcome to the stream, dude. This is, of course, the Mineski Pro Gaming League Season 8. Global Counter Strike Global Offensive. You're now watching round two in this best of two series between, or sorry, game two in this best of two series between Was D and Five Peaks. Five Peaks have shown to be a very uh, strong team in their cash. That is their the map that they picked, but they're showing they're showing also how strong they are in the map that was picked by Was D, which is Cobblestone. Oh, look at the sneaky beaky spot from Fury. Goes in for the mow down, gets the second shot, and that's going to be two less members from the side of Five Peaks pushing in onto bomb site B. Now we're gonna see Margie as well as uh, Amika there onto the side. Or sorry, it was Mick onto the side, but it's going to be an easy spray down there coming in from Stiz's side. Gets the killer onto Margie as well as Mick, and it's only going to be Mr. Flirt alive, the man himself. Gets the headshot there onto Jellophobia, but he's heavily tagged down to 12 HP. Can he survive it? Or can he clutch this round, rather? We have to find out. Or we're gonna find out. Anyone know the score? If you're if you're asking what the score is in this best of two, again, against five, uh, between Five Peaks and WASD, it's already 1-0 in favor of Five Peaks. Throws out the nade. So, I believe like if you throw a nade, they ca you can still hear a brief sound of you going down. And oh, Hadoken is actually going to miss. <laughs> Alright, so he mi they miss each other. But Flirt's going to be able to at least get the plant. Uh, he has to go in. Oh wait, no, he doesn't get the bomb. Never mind. Um, 
I thought that was uh, the bomb in his hand, so he was rushing into bomb setting. Uh, what he did was right there was just to save himself. You know, this AK-47. Sorry about that one, guys. Misinformation. My bad. And now that's going to be Was D. Gonna be able to win themselves the second round. Economy of five peaks is still substantial. They'll be able to buy up into the next round if ever they lose this one. Members of Was D are still gasping for money, but we'll see what happens there. Throws out the nade. It's gonna be bouncing onto Fury. Fury, very aggressive again. Gonna position himself in the backside of B Long. So he has been really liking the spot, but of course, if you keep doing something like that, it's gonna be too much, you know, uh, too obvious already. If you keep going for that site, people are gonna expect you to be there and just throw out nades left and right. He's gonna be behind this area right here. He gets tagged down by the Molotov, down to 19 HP. He's gonna throw a Molotov of his own, but the members of Five Peaks are still damn healthy. He's gonna get boosted up onto Garden here. This is a, I think this is a really nice spot here, especially people don't actually check out this uh, this angle. But Five Peaks are gonna be pushing out onto the site. So it looks like Mick here is gonna go in with a very um, close position or a very slow peek there. They don't know where Fury is. He goes in for the shots, but he's gonna get caught out there by McClurt. Now Valencia will get caught out as well, and now that's going to be two frags immediately there from McFlirt and this, or Mr. Flirt there, <laughs> McFlirt. Why am I saying that? Sounds like an ice cream. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be 5P. It's going to get the site pretty easily. And they knew already. Wasty knew that Five Peaks were setting up. They could have gotten for a much more aggressive position because Five Peaks, they weren't explosive there. They just set up some smokes and Five or and Wasty were kind of passive in defending that spot. And they and again, they just got punished really heavily by Five Peaks there. Hadogan gets uh, the shot there onto Mr. Flirt, finally shutting him down, but Mr. Flirt, well, with all of those aggressive, uh, you know, entry fragging, has made it possible for Five Peaks to get this 11th round. Oh, Mark G gets caught out. Oh, he's gonna get caught out! And no weapons from Boss D will be saved. Nova comes out of God, Gab is my wife. I think it was a miss buy there. Is it a miss buy? Oh, no, doesn't doesn't look like it. So they're gonna add some insult to injury. And of course, we do know that... JW does love this spot in Cobblestone in Drop Zone where he positions himself with either the Sawed Off or the Swag 7, but never mind. It was just a miss by there for Five Peaks. They don't want to, you know, add insult to injury. They want to make it as clean as possible as well as Mark G, what are you doing? I'm just talking here, man, and he's getting kill after kill. Gets himself two frags there. Two frags as well for Gabis. My wife gets the headshot there by Hadoken. But he's the only one left alive. The only the only sensible thing here for him to do is to save this AWP. He's gonna be uh, positioning himself probably on castle there. So we'll see if the members of Five Peaks will actually go in. You know, for the re or for the at least, you know, stopping the save of this AWP. I wouldn't say that Cobble is T sided that much. Like, if you have control of drop zone, uh, it allows you to at least, you know, have better control of bomb side A and bomb side B. Of course, because you can uh, position yourself or, or fast rotate from bomb side B to bomb side A. He tags him, but Amy Cloud might get the AWP. He has to hide. Doesn't want to give this at all. If he shoots through the wall, might have been the AWP from Hadogan going down. Alright, so for you guys who are asking there why this is a best of two series, basically the MPGL format is that if you win two rounds, you get yourself three points. Which is, of course, this is a point system tournament. But if you get one round, you only get the one point. So it's, it's of course, very beneficial for you to get yourself that immediate uh, two rounds. Oh, Stiz there gonna get caught out that he was actually pushing himself through barrels. Or sorry, through fountain. And it's now going to be Jellophobia as well as Hadoken alive. Hadoken gonna spray in through this mid uh, doors area from Connector. But, of course, the retake. Might be a bit impossible there as Mark G 
I don't know how this guy is just getting frags. Frag after frag. He's already 21 kills into the 13th round. Jellophobia goes in for the... No scopes. He gets Mark G, but Mark G only has... <laughs> the handgun out, but Jellophobia follows up with a headshot. No scope onto Mr. Flirt. But I don't think this is going to be a retake here as... There's no time, and he already has positioned himself right down into a connector from middle. We're gonna see each other. We're gonna see each other. He actually pre fires it and gets the shot there onto Jellophobia. So, of course, pre fire does work from time to time. It's a 50 50, guys. Hey, Night Fate Gaming. Welcome to the stream. This is, of course, the Minaski Pro Gaming League Season 8 Counter Strike Global Offensive brought to you by the official sponsors, our official sponsors GG Network TV, Gigabyte, ViewSonic, Counter Strike Global Offensive Lounge, Minaski Infinity, and, of course, Secret Shop. Five Peaks have been doing this strategy over and over again, and WASD have yet to stop this, um, this, you know, execution from the Five Peaks side. Can he get the headshot there? He sees it, but he does. Now can he go for the following shot there on to Amika? The answer is no, but Jellophobia was waiting in the wings and he gets the headshot there onto Five Peaks and he finalizes it. And now it's a 3 uh, a 2 v 2 but the pistols only for the side of WASD. Now we do see the Fury making these P250s work. What is WASD doing right now? They are just doing the right thing. No, he actually scopes at outscopes. At the wrong time there, but Mark G didn't push. Mark G is pretty smart in this game, actually. He knows where Fury is positioned. Gonna throw the smoke, uh, the flashbang there. It catches Fury as well as himself, but he knows where Fury is. But Fury will get the better of him as that AWP is just too much. How was that even a win for Was D? The Deagle and Five Peaks slow pushing it again. I guess. All right. I guess Was D. Uh, already figured out that Five Peaks always slow push into bombs like B. They rarely go in for an aggressive fast push. So they kind of figured out that if we can, you know, um, at least put out a distraction, even if he, d you know, even if he just lives for two to three seconds, that's enough for Valencia to get the headshots as well as Jellophobia to get those pretty crazy um, dinks there with the P250. Stiz here gonna be aggressive and going for the push. Gets two men already from the side of Five Peaks. He's not gonna get tagged at all. And Five Peaks, they have their strategy for this B long push has already been shattered. Like it on Facebook, Aster IPH. Thanks for the like, guys. Again, I'm assuring you that there is no uh cheating here done whatsoever guys we are making or we are ensuring that there is no way for these players to actually do the cheats and come on i mean cheating is so overrated i mean not so overrated i mean you get yourself easy rounds by not practicing and you know not strategizing that's so lame and mark g gets caught out there by hadoken and this was the last round of the first half and five peaks have done a deja vu in the first in the first game, it was uh, cash. They got another 11-4. So is this Wasdi gonna come back with another 10 rounds and five picks finishing it with 16? We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we're back. You just saw there an instant. 10 second zoom in or a 10 second advertisement for of course one of our sponsors counter strike global offensive lounge now we're gonna go into the second half of the gate of game two and we do see that there's gonna be an aggressive pusher coming in from mick he hasn't been spotted out but this positioning is very sneaky members of of Wasdi are now going to push him, but they're just going to get caught up by Five Peaks again and again. Now it's going to be Valencia in a 2v1 situation. It's only going to be Fury alive. Can he do this? Might be the answer to that is no. Headshot there though. On to Flirt. That looks promising. Goes in for the next shot. He doesn't connect quite a bit. He goes in for the stab, but no! You brought a knife 
to a gunfight, and of course, you will not survive. Three people from the side of Five Peaks uh, survived that, and was the... I think they have to force by this round. They have to make it at least, you know, to rattle the heads of Five Peaks, but Five Peaks are actually predicting the force buy here from the side of Was D. Was D not gonna do the force buy here though, as it's only going to be ripping, or Stiz rather, and Hadoken buying the armor and tech nines. So they're they're kind of the semi-force buy, so to speak. Was D here, gonna positioning themselves here outside of mid, but it's only Mick here defending the side of bomb side A. He's gonna throw the nade there, but there's no members from the side of Wasti just yet. Can be here the mow down. Goes in for the spray with the MP7. Gets the shot. Second one goes down, and it's going to be him as well as JG. Gonna be able to at least, you know, um, use that boss fire position to win out this round and make it a five for nothing in terms of the trades. It's pretty strong there from the side of Five Peaks, but I'm not really sure what Wazdi was thinking there. I mean, yeah, I get that it's a really safe transition in terms of their, of their economy, but this close into 16 points for Five Peaks is not something you should allow going into the into the second half with 4-11. But of course, that's their strategy. I'm just saying what my opinion my, what my opinion is. Maybe they come back from this. So we'll see what Wasti does. But while I'm talking about that, it's going to be Mark G just waiting in drop. He has the FAMAS. Goes in for the the flash there. Perfect flash. Actually flashing out the members of Was D. Now taking out that CZ. He's gonna get some help from Amika as Amika just mows down the members of Was D. Getting helped by Mark G. And he's gonna get caught out because Stiz was just in uh, in his behind. Now Amika there gets caught out by Stiz. Stiz really good with this P250 but not good enough as the members of Five Peaks have made it possible to get that 3 for 5 exchange or 2 for 5 exchange. Guys, these two teams are honestly legit. They they always play in the in our cust uh, in, a, in the custom server of Was D. They're pretty cool guys, and they're not cheating. I'm pretty sure of that. But of course, we can we can see here the I would say the skill advantage that Five Peaks has. But as I say that, it's Jellophobia. Say no, Asurai. No, I have my AWP, and I will make something for my team. And he does that with the shot on two. JG. So it's a 4v5 situation here. But of course, WASD are on the ropes. They have to make something out of this round or risk themselves losing the match point and then making it 16 4 5 peaks. 2 and 0, 3 points for them. Jellophobia with the second shot there onto Mick. I think that was just Mick being a bit too aggressive. Pushing in onto a long. Not respecting that Jellophobia had a high percentage chance of actually still, you know, being on that spot. You saw there he was actually slow pushing this area right now and he gets punished for that. Now it looks like the side of Was D gonna go in onto Bombsa A. It's relatively undefended here as Mark G is still on connector area. We do see that uh, Fury is gonna go himself onto drop zone, but the members of Was D have made themselves known into bomb site. Hey, now there's going to be the mow down here from Mark G. Only gets down the one guy, but Amika gets the kill there onto Fury as he drops from drop uh from zone from the drop zone rather. And it's now going to be the retake here for the side of Five Peaks. Headshot there onto Flirt, and it's now going to be only Amika alive. Amika has shown some signs of life in terms of his performance, but we have to note that this is a 2v1 with Jellophobia with the AWP, and Jellophobia has just shown himself with the hat trick onto the members of Five Peaks. At least hanging on by a thread, Wasdi is doing uh, what Wasdi is doing right now. Dolan the Duck plays CSGO with L keyboard. Have you seen uh, War Owl actually play CSGO with a dance pad? It's legit, guys. It's legit. 
Valencia pre-firing goes in and he's trying to at least get the lineup here as Jellophobia gets a headshot onto Mark G, finally shutting down this ace or this star player right now for the side of Five Peaks. Oh, sorry about that one, guys. Um, we do see that the members of Five Peaks have made some uh, buys here as there's two defuse kits for Mick as well as JG. They have the CZs, they have the 5.7 as well as the Deagle, so this this can be a possible, uh, at least make it a possible expensive round for the side of Wasi or a sneaky peeky Ninja Diffuse. We'll have to see what, what happens after that. Score right now is 1-0 in favor of 5 Peaks, and the current map is Cobblestone. If you're playing CSGO, you, you know that this map is Cobblestone. <laughs> If you're not, I don't know what you're playing right now and why you're betting on CSG or what uh, and why you even are on this channel. But of course, that's just me. Or you might, you know, be exposed to CSG and you're like, oh, this is a really cool game. And while I was thinking about uh, talking about a cool game, JG there gets the kill onto Fury, but it's now only going to be Mech Alive. Current map score, it is 14-5. Uh... Or sorry, 1 and 0. Oh. Uh, Cash was won by 5 Peaks. Cash, if you guys didn't know, was the map that 5 Peaks did pick. And this map was chosen by WASD. So WASD right now is looking really, really uh, on the backside here as 5 Peaks are looking very dominant. And we do have a... <laughs> actually, me and Vil, uh, my other co-caster in CSGO, have this inside joke we're in if you're five peaks you actually only allow your <laughs> opponents to have five peaks or like five uh five rounds headshot there gonna get the steal onto the ak-47 so mick here at least making this weapon uh his own for now yeah so the sad knight know what knows what's up he, he saw the segment from War Al. He got the dance pad and then he was actually playing deathmatch, you know, going left and right. All of the controls that you have on the keyboard was on the dance pad. It was pretty cool. You guys should actually check it out. It's pretty cool. I, I, I ship the War Al, guys, as well as Nick Bunyan. Okay, so I'm talking about that. Was the looking to be pretty damn strong right now. Uh, actually, not damn strong, but at least they're showing that they have strength to contest five peaks into getting these two remaining rounds easy. So five peaks here. They of course we have seen comebacks, guys, but the pressure is on. If was the lose this round, do they have economy to buy up? They have, but of course, uh, five peaks are gonna be happy with 15 in their hands. They have plenty of rounds to give to was the in order for them to win the last round if they do win this one. And JG catching out Jellophobia in that op duel, I believe in. Yeah, in a long. Now, Stiz here looking into connector, but the guy uh, is on the window there. Do you see the Valencia actually was pushed into B long? Nade does come out, so it's actually smart from him. He doesn't, you know, um, stay in that angle so that he doesn't get bombarded by the nades. So we'll see if um, they'll be push or they'll be pushing five peaks as five peaks have a four man stack in bomb type B. Goes in for the headshot onto Stiz, but it will not connect. Stiz uh, gonna go into the challenge there. But if you jump up and down, your accuracy is not gonna is gonna frown. So that's what happened there. Just the immediate kill there, and now it looks like Wazdi are getting shut down by five peaks, and it's only Fury alive. Can he clutch this for his team? He's the only man left alive. And the answer is no, guys. It's going to be five peaks now at match point. Who won the first map? Brick Me 97. It is five peaks, one and oh. You can actually type uh, exclamation point score to know what the score is in terms of the maps. If this is a best of two series, so this is the last game uh, for this series against five peaks and was, uh, was D. Gab is my wife there. Gonna throw out the nade as aggressive push there coming in possibly from Hadoken. Or actually, no, that was a uh, Jellophobia. He does have the Tech 9 in his hands. He was hoping for at least a steal, but now Mick is waiting. He is slowly waiting for this push, guys. 
Yeah, I'm a Nick Bunyan fanboy, of course. I ship the lion, guys. That's why... Uh, wait. I don't, I don't think you can see my uh, Observer account. It has a lion icon on it. And Gabby's My Wife gets the shot there onto Hadouken. As Jellophobia gonna overwhelm him with the Rack 9. Now he has his AWP. Gonna make something out of this. But, look at this. Mick. They have to check it out this spot or else, you know, risk being caught out. Mark G gonna be caught out there by Valencia with help from McFury. Uh, from McFury. What, what? Why am I saying that? Fury, rather. And now it's only going to be the 3v3. But was the... Nobody yet is still in bombsite B. Now, Amika gonna fortify it by himself, but he's gonna get caught out by Stiz. I think that was too much of a lazy uh, uh, defender by Amika. But Mr. Flirt will finalize the headshot there onto Ripping. But while that is happening, Nick here gonna go in for a double spray! And that was the highlight there for Five Peaks as they do shut down these two remaining members from the side of Wazdi from the north. And ladies and gentlemen, Five Peaks have done it. 2-0 in terms of the points.